Did you know that as of 2020, U.S. Census Bureau, we know that 48% of children will not live in their household through age 18 with both parents in the home. We are in a family crisis and we need to help our dads become better at showing up. Today we're gonna to give you several tips and be a dad who is consistently boring because he shows up all the time. Hey guys, I want to jump into the meat of today's podcast. And again, this episode is about becoming a consistently boring dad. By boring, what I mean is this, that you just show up, that you show up so much your kids are, they expect you to be there. They, in fact, they would be shocked if they went to an event or something that you did not come to because you consistently uh, make sure that you fit their lives into your schedule and you are a dad who shows up. And I go back, I love uh, talking about John chapter four, verses one through eight. It's jo Jesus and the woman at the well. I love going back and referring to this story because the Bible records that Jesus sat down at the well while his disciples went into town to buy food, so they were hungry. Jesus is sitting down, he'd walked a long journey, he was weary, the Bible says, and he asked this woman for a drink. So Jesus is tired, hungry, and thirsty, he shows up anyway and ministers to this gal. And I hear guys all the time going, hey man, you just don't know how my work schedule is. I don't have I don't have the energy to engage my kids uh, or my wife. Well, bro, then maybe you shouldn't have had a family. Maybe you shouldn't have gotten married. I mean, the moment you said I do and the moment you produced your first child, that's the moment that you are called to step up and welcome, what is that song by Guns N' Roses, Welcome to the Jungle? We should get on stage here and sing Welcome to the Bubble because you're in the bubble now. You have two choices, show up or don't. So stop making excuses about your busy schedule and how tired you are because your kids don't care about that. They care about a dad who's engaged. So here are, here are five things that a dad can do to consistently show up, all right? Here we go. First one is this, keep your promises. And I don't mean, by promises, I don't mean, I promise, I pinky swear. If you're the dad who has to promise and pinky swear, you are probably a dad who is not showing up. By promises, I simply mean this, keep your word. If you say you're gonna be there, be there. If you say you're gonna go there, go there. If you say you're gonna say you're gonna do this, do this. Just say what you're gonna do, do what you're gonna say, mean what you say, and say what you mean. Number two is this, guard your word. And this runs very similarly to number one. If you said it, that settles it. So your kids don't ever have to negotiate with you on what you say. They just expect you to say what you do and do what you say. It's really that simple. Number three is this, standardize your work schedule. So I run into a lot of guys, so I have a, I'm a ministry guy, which means I don't have a basic uh, Monday through Friday job. I work a lot on the weekends. My job is very inconsistent. So while raising our children, I had to be very aware of my schedule that I was always available after school and before our church meetings to be at my kids' games. And I showed up to almost every one of them. We just simply showed up. So standardize your work schedule. If you are working a shift job where you are missing all of your children's games, I would suggest that you either need to change your shift job or change your job. Your kids are more important, uh, to me, in my opinion, than you missing because you have to work. So standardize your schedule to be at their games. Even if you have to show up in your work uniform or your work stuff, get there, be seen, so your kids get used to seeing you to all of these events. Now, I know some of you are trying to push back in your car right now, uh, but I'm telling you guys this, you are going to regret not listening to me on this point. Standardize your work schedule because listen, the day you die, the people mourning at your funeral will not be the people you worked with. It'll be the people that you lived with. They will either be mourning tears of regret for a life where you are not engaged, or they'll be mourning tears of longing and missing the father or the husband they love so much who was there all the time. Number four, you know, we often forget, guys, that God has called us to steward the bodies he gave us so that we'll be ready, healthy, and spiritually dangerous to fight the good fight. That's why we're so excited to partner with Mountain Tough Fitness Lab. Join me on my journey by going to mountaintough.com and getting your free six-week trial when you type in the code ARENA30. You won't be disappointed. Stay dangerous. Number four. 
develop something, a hobby, a trade, or a skill that you and your family can enjoy doing together. You know, my my kids and I, we hunt, and we still hunt. They're in their 30s and late 20s now, and we still regularly connect over that. I mean, we connect on such a deep level there. You know, snorkeling, we did tons of snorkeling as a family together. What are the things that you can rally your family around what events some of you rally your family around sports that's awesome uh what is it that you're or music i have one family great parents they they rally their children around music great idea what is one thing that you can rally your family around and the last one is this number five is this avoid the trap of trying to make up for lost time that is why it's called lost time it is lost And that is why they call the present time the present, because it is a gift. Don't think about making up for lost time. That goes back to number one and number two is keeping your word and keeping your promises. Be a man who's engaged in the moment, who plans for the future, and you're engaged in the lives of those you love now. Guys, I hope those five tips helped you to be a better dad, to be a boring dad, a man who keeps his promises, who guards his word, who standardizes his work schedule, who develops some kind of hobby his family can rally behind, and who avoids the trap of making up for lost time. Guys, the only quality time out there is the time that you spend consistently being boring because you show up. Hey, man, make sure you guys are subscribing to the Men in the Arena podcast if you haven't done so already. And make also, guys, check this out. Did you know I have a weekly newsletter that's designed just to equip you guys? Sign up for my weekly newsletter now at meninarena.org. Until next time, feel the wet sand on the arena floor. Hear the deafening roar of the crowd. Taste the sweetness of victory. Smell the extension of battle. Get in the game. Get dirty. Grind it out. Show up and be a man.